Intel City, a platform where you can learn, teach, research, and repeat. Hello guys, in this video we will show you how we can download and install code blocks in your Windows operating system. Uh, CodeBlock is a free open source and cross-platform software uh, in which we can compile our C, C++ and Fortran uh, programs. Uh, it's actually an IDE uh, that is built to meet the most demanding needs of the user. Uh, the full form of IDE is, is uh, Integrated Development Environment and it helps us to write and compile a uh, program. Other IDs uh, commonly used for uh, C++ are uh, Visual Studio, uh, Eclipse, uh, Code Lite, and Turbo C and Dev C++, etc. Uh, so let's download uh, this free IDE for compiling C++. Um, I'm opening my browser here, uh, and now uh, I am typing code blocks. Uh, uh, we are getting the link of code blocks here. Uh, this is the main page of code block website. Uh, just down, just click on the downloads option. And here we see there are uh, three options uh, to download this software. Uh, that is download the pan release, download the source code and download uh, retrieve source code from SVN. Uh, the option we are interested in is uh, download the bind release in this page uh, you see that we can uh, download this software in multiple platforms uh, in Windows platform Linux platforms and uh, Mac operating systems uh, so in this video I will tell you about uh, how we can uh, download and install your software on Windows operating system uh, you need to click this option the one uh, on the fourth position from the top uh, this is your required uh, exe file uh, you can add you can download it from FOS hub or source uh, forge uh, I am clicking this option uh, I have already uh, downloaded the uh, software version of code blocks uh, now I'm gonna run it next I agree uh, I'm selecting full all plugins all tools just everything uh, as it is So we are in the main uh, window of the code blocks. Uh, we can create project by clicking here or in the file menu. Okay, uh, I'm clicking here. Uh, by clicking here, uh, you can see there are a lot of options. There are a lot of projects we can uh, create in uh, code blocks. Uh, I'm since we are uh, doing work in C++, I'm clicking console applications and click go next uh, choose your uh, respective uh, language C++ uh, add your title of your project uh, it is my first program uh, folder to create project in I'm also selecting a folder where my project and my files will be saved that is OOP course and of course is uh, uh, I have placed OOP code so folder on my desktop next uh, this is the compiler GNU GCC compiler that is used to uh, compile the C++ uh, programs I'm going to finish now 
you see that my first program as a project is here in the management tab under the management section okay uh, I'm clicking this plus button and this is the main dot CPP file this is your uh, editor file where you can code uh, your program I'm double clicking it you see this is the editor here we can uh, uh, list down our code or or lines or C++ lines uh, we want to compile or run okay uh, I, to to make it compile to compile it uh, I will click build build or control plus uh, F9 build uh, in the bottom in the logs and other sessions a uh, log and other sections uh, we will see that there are zero errors zero warnings in this uh, code uh, which means that uh, it is successfully compiled and converted into the uh, machine code um, you all know about uh, this uh, simple code what is IO stream and etc etc uh, let's run this code for run or execution we enter run and here is the execution uh, the hello world is printed here now build run welcome to intensity uh, that was all about the video don't forget to subscribe and like the video